वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे इन पेट गाइड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मैगेट फोन इन डॉग ऑल्सो नॉन एज मी यू कैन रिलेट टू एनी ऑफ योर पेट दैट यू हैव कैप्ट एट होम बिकॉज मैनेजमेंट एंड ट्रीटमेंट इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम टूडे द लेक्चर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेक्टिव बिकॉज आई हैव ट्राई टू इंक्लूड द केस स्टडीज टू डेल्प डीपर इन टू द डिजीज टू गेट बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द कॉन्टेक्सट इन फॉर्म ऑफ हिस्ट्री डायग्नोसिस ट्रीटमेंट Our first case study is about the maggot wound in the ear of a dog. Let's see how they proceed toward the case. A German Shepherd dog was presented. It was of age nine, and it appeared with the head inclined to the left, with bad odor coming, head shaking, discharge coming from the left ear for the past five days. Thorough clinical examination revealed the maggot wound in the left ear. The treatment provided was nagasan powder to kill the maggots. Injection of antibiotic ceftriaxone at a dose rate of 20 mg per kg was provided to treat or to prevent secondary bacterial infection. Inflammatory was given at a dose rate of 0.2 mg per kg body weight to relieve pain. Ivermectin at a dose rate of 200 microgram per kg subcut was provided to kill maggots. Let's discuss another case study on nasal meiosis. An 8-month-old female Staffordshire Bull Terrier was presented with frequent and intense sneezing that lasted 2 days and reversal sneezing was also observed. Clinicians suspected a nasal foreign body or brachycephalic airway obstructive syndrome based upon the symptoms and the breed of the dog. No pharynx with the posterior rhinoscopy few minor mucosal erosions can be observed that were moderately thickened and edematous mucosa was seen. a tiny amount of mucus like material was observed on anterior rhinoscopy there was two to three whitish fusiform creature in the right and the left nasal cavity respectively all of the organism detected looked to be the vital with high motility on the nasal mucosal surface for the treatment moving arterial fossa was used but it cannot reach uh, that to that nasal mucosa the best option is nasal lavage the acute and intense sneezing improved noticeably after nasal lavage which could be attributed to removal of majority of the allergens to delve deeper understanding let's have a look at another case study of maggot wound on the hip of a dog an 8 year old male siberian husky was presented to the hospital showing signs of anorexia vomiting and diarrhea A severe wound was found during a physical examination close to left hip. The wound smelled so bad and was covered in maggots and pus. First of all, forceps were used to remove all of the maggots. The damaged region was sponged with gauze before being cleared daily with 70% alcohol and a povidone iodine solution. Wound clearing was not an option because of the loss of the tissue. On the 19th day following hospitalization, the patient made a full recovery and was released. After going through the case report we can better understand how we can proceed for a case of maggot wound now let's discuss maggot wound in detail maggot wound that is also known as meiosis is a condition in which maggot infest and feed on flesh what is cause of maggot wound infestation by the fly maggots mostly blow fly is involved that lay eggs on moist or soiled skin wound it is common in warm summer month as it is a period of the flies to lay egg and is prominent in humid and hot environment what are the common areas for infestation it usually occur in the areas of the body that are moist and have poor circulation of the blood such as the ear nose mouth anus genitalia what are the symptoms of meiosis different dog exhibit different symptom depending upon the severity of the disease common symptoms include pain lethargy discomfort diarrhea excessive licking edema depression twitching lack of appetite itching foul smell is present with the wound infestation by the maggots can cause severe pain and discomfort to the dog but if it is left untreated the infection can even spread and become life threatening there are some predisposing factors that can contribute towards the meiosis in dog Number 1 is the poor hygiene the dogs that are with open wound skin fold or that cannot groom themselves properly are at a greater risk second one is an underlying medical condition the dog that are already immunocompromised by some disease are at a greater risk 
to catch maggot phone knowing the predisposing factor about the hygiene and medical condition we can easily predict the prevention of the maggot wound prevention of the maggot wound in dog require good hygiene and regular grooming owner must keep their dog clean and dry especially in the area where the skin folds are that are more prone to the moisture and that are the places where the fly can lay their egg any wound or injury should be promptly treated and kept clean to prevent infection routine check up with the veterinarian is a must that he can a veterinarian can help detect underlying medical condition that may put the dog at a risk of developing maggot wound so if you suspect that your dog has a maggot wound it is crucial to seek veterinary attention immediately so for treatment there are simple steps to follow first of all remove the maggot manually and debridement of the tissue must be done if there is some dead tissue and then wound will be treated with antiseptic and antibiotic to prevent further infection and some medication must be provided to alleviate pain so here i have quoted treatment from a case study but if you are a veterinarian and you are watching this slide right now and you have your own way to proceed with the case you can comment down below in the comment section so let's begin with the treatment first of all hairs were trimmed off the area around the wound second step was salt water was used to rinse the wound 3 to 4 times then the dead maggots were carefully wiped off or extracted with arterial forceps or a tweezer wound was then covered with a typical gauze bandage saturated in saline also one way to keep the wound moist then turpentine was applied to the open wound after 3 days for roughly 30 minutes maggots that had dug deep into the wound were able to be attracted out and killed by using turpentine then ivermectin 0.3 mg per kg was given subcutaneously on the same day until the wound was fully healed antiseptic dressing was used and fly repellent were administered for the chronic non healing wound we mostly use maggot debridement therapy also known as mt or mdt this is a medical procedure that involves using live maggot to clean some type of chronic non healing wound also the wound that are not responsive to conventional form of treatment mt is accomplished by the production of proteolytic enzyme by the maggots liquefying of the necrotic tissue and feeding on them cleaning the wound and they actively promote growth for maggot debridement therapy moist exudating wound with sufficient oxygen supply is a prerequisite one to two weeks are needed to complete the maggot wound therapy for small size maggot wound it can take up to one month of the treatment or care for the wound and tissue to fully heal and regenerate there are some interesting question with their answers so let's begin what instantly kill maggot we can use boiling water for the maggot but the temperature might not be too high to burn the skin do dog get sick from maggot definitely larva develop into swear lesions that is huge a bacterial infection may then develop on the dog skin the enzyme and toxins of the larva create might cause the dog to go into the shock if the infection is severe then again do dog get discomfort or pain from the maggot yes dog can feel pain from the maggot the constant dribbling of the maggot and their spread inside the bodily wound can further increase the pet agony what skill maggot in a wound you can use turpentine oil as i have already mentioned then we can use per oxygen hydrogen peroxide is maggot wound capable of self healing yes some maggots do promote tissue growth and wound healing as we have discussed in maggot debridement therapy let's head toward a quick overview of the maggot wound maggot wound is also known as the meiosis that is infestation by the fly larva and it usually attacks the areas that are poorly circulated and the skin folds that are moist the symptoms usually include pain itching swelling redness discomfort foul smell for the treatment we can go for the extraction through the arterial forceps then we can go for debridement of the tissue to refresh the wound we can use negasan powder or turpentine oil to extract from the wound and then 
we can use any of the antiseptic antibacterial or anti-inflammatory depending upon the situation and severity of the wound this is all what we need to know about the maggot wound if you have any question you can comment down below plus if you have your own story of maggot wound treatment you can share in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching